The 2021 postseason is finally here. The Brewers getting ready for their National League Division Series matchup with the Atlanta Braves, winner of the National League East. Now, the Brewers coming in for their fourth consecutive postseason appearance. They are winners of the National League Central Division for the third time in franchise history and finished with 95 wins on the season, just one shy of the franchise record set in 2011 and 2018. The Brewers and the Braves split the regular season matchup 3-3. Three three. The Brewers hosted the Braves here at American Family Field in May and then visited Atlanta right at the trade deadline at the end of July and the Braves outscored the Brewers in those six games, 34 to 26. One of the best storylines to watch in this National League Division Series is going to be the power of the Brewers pitching staff against the power of the Atlanta Braves high-powered offense. For the Brewers pitching staff, they have been the strength of this team all season long. A 3-5 team earned run average. They lead the National League with more than 1,600 strikeouts. They average more than 10 strikeouts per game, and that is going to be a matchup that favors the Brewers pitching staff. This Atlanta Braves offense has power up and down their lineup. 239 home runs for the Braves in the regular season, second best in the National League, and they boast six players with 25 home runs or more on the season. Four of those come from their infield with reigning MVP and first baseman Freddie Freeman, switch hitting second baseman Ozzy Albies, shortstop Dansby Swanson, and third baseman Austin Riley. So that's going to be the task of this Brewers pitching staff to slow down and contain that high-powered Atlanta Braves offense. Speaking of pitching, a lot of questions about how Craig Council will line up his pitching staff. We're expecting to see the two all-stars, Corbin Burns and Brandon Woodruff, in game one and two here at home at American Family Field. And beyond that, Craig Council said, we have to think of them as outgetters. He said, we feel like we have five guys and maybe more who can get us a lot of outs, and that is a good place to start. They feel like they have options in terms of how they could line up Freddie Peralta, Adrian Hauser, the lefty Eric Lauer, maybe even Brett Anderson as well. We do know the Brewers' bullpen will be without reigning Rookie of the Year and Reliever of the Year, Devin Williams. So that puts more on all-star closer Josh Hader. Hader has pitched in 60 games with 34 saves for the Brewers this season. His earned run average is 1-2-3, and he has more than 100 strikeouts on the season. Now, two of those saves came against the Atlanta Braves, one in May and the other one in August. So Hader has some familiarity with this Braves lineup. As David Stearns and Craig Counselor are constructing the NLDS postseason roster, one thing that may be a factor for them in the bullpen is postseason experience. Hunter Strickland has the most postseason innings of any Brewers reliever on this roster with 13 innings pitched. And all-star closer Josh Hader is just behind him with 12 and a third. Other likely candidates to expect on that postseason roster, Brent Suter and Brad Boxberger, a combined six innings of postseason experience between them. Now, two really intriguing options are the rookies, the righty Jake Cousins, who pitched in 30 games for the Brewers this season, and then, of course, the lefty Aaron Ashby, who pitched in just 13 games but did make four starts for the Brewers this season. Now, when we asked Craig Council about how those rookies could perform, he was very quick to point out that in 2018, Josh Hader, Brandon Woodruff, Corbin Burns, Freddie Peralta, neither of them had postseason experience, and they were able to shine on the big stage in big spots. So might be the same for Jay Cousins and Aaron Ashby this season. The Brewers will be holding workouts here at American Family Field leading up to game one. And all of the questions surrounding the postseason roster will be set at 10 a.m. on Friday morning when the rosters are due for the National League Division Series. There will be first pitch at 3.37 p.m. here at American Family Field. We're looking forward to a packed house for the NLDS between the Brewers and the Braves.